Alright, hey guys, welcome to another video by the Frontline Trooper. I thought I might as well show you how I do all my films and stuff, what software I use, and what process I go through on doing them. I didn't include this as a question and an answer in my weekly update 3 because I thought I may as well do a proper video for it. So, through this you'll see what software I use and how, how, it's all, how it all works. Not full tutorials on how they work, you can find that yourself or just ask me something if you want to know. Um, this isn't about how to get the software um, or how to get past all those file saves to actually get it. This is just on what I use and you can do the rest of the research yourself. So let's get into it. Alright, start off. Cut, oh, drop it. Of course, I have my computer. Now, I've got a really great computer that it's got great RAM, great graphics card, and everything. Now, for my helmet such as these um i've already done tutorials on that but i just use pepicura designer 3. uh -huh. with this you've got your things uh, i've got plenty of tutorials on how to work these so if you don't if you want to um you can do that after this or you can stop now and check those up they should be referenced as odst helmet or pepicura designer 3 tutorials and there should be a couple of parts all right so let's close that Alright, when I start, I come up with an idea of a film. I first do a storyboard of it, which is drawing in sections and then putting little, what do you call them, little detailed explanations of what that scene is about. So I've got the idea, then do a storyboard. Next, I will uh, go into Microsoft Word, write out a script, write out a, the ideas in sequence, and then I get my film crew together and we go out and do it. Now, once I've done all the film, I should... Let's just use this for an example. Um, I've got my file. If it wants to open. I film in HD, so this camera here is called a Flip Video um, Mino HD. They're very good quality, um, and I picked it up for quite cheap. Um, so I film all my things in 720 HD widescreen. I love getting the good quality for the what do you call them films. And it really helps the, for the effects. So I don't think that's going to load. Anyway, move on. Alright, so once I've got my footage, I start to put it in together into Windows Movie Maker. Now, all of you should be familiar with Windows Movie Maker. Or if you've got Apple iMovie, it's pretty much the same. I've got all the music videos. Uh, this is one I did for the Tropic Thunder one that I did a week ago. I'm not too proud of it, but it's kind of funny. Uh, so I've done that, and then you run it through, put in the music correctly, and then you publish it. One, oh, okay, there's the film footage there. So 720 HD, that's just my friend swimming in the water because I pushed him off. Okay, so yeah, nice big screen, 720. Now once I've got that, I take it to Adobe After Effects. Now Adobe After Effects is software for thing. Not thing. Um, special effects and animation. Now this is just a film I'm working on for a friend. Now he sent he uh, he got in touch with me and said, "Can I can I do some special effects on it?" I said, "Sure," and well, I'm working on it for him. So Adobe After Effects opens up, and you've got thousands of effects to do in here. I usually apply special um, muzzle flashes, explosions, anything to do with war and Halo. Big fan of Halo, so that's mostly what I focus in. Now you always ask. Oh, cool, those are some pretty cool special effects um, and Halo uh, models, machines, um, b banshees, pelicans, warthogs and stuff. Where do you get them from? I download them off uh, Halo model websites and I use Autodesk Maya. Now, this is just a quick animation that I just did of two banshees chasing a pelican. Yada, yada, yada. So, Autodesk Maya is 3D software that allows you to move stuff so I can actually... Go out into here. Put the camera down. Let me try to find where we are. There we go. So it's 3D software that you download. Okay, I might just get rid of this space. It's kind of hard to see where we are. Here we go. So we've got our banshees and our pelican. Now you can do whatever you want in this. Um, we'll just open up another one. Spartan. Spartan. 
So you can... Okay, this is a one I did for... Uh, a film I did, but yeah, pretty much. Once you got your file, uh, you move it around, put it in a... What do you call it? A motion cycle, and then I green screen it. So I place a green background. The computer's just kind of frozen. Cool. Yeah, you put it in a green screen, then you go and take uh, publish this movie, and then you take it into Adobe After Effects again, and you chroma key it. Um, if you don't know what chroma keying is, it's pretty much taking the green out of the background, leaving the uh, the beta channel, which is everything but the green, which was the alpha channel. Um, once I've done it there, I finish it. It's all published. I then take it back into Windows Movie Maker and run it through, add in the extra special effects and um, not special effects, sorry, sound, add in the extra sound and then it's done. I then take it into uh... Let's just quickly open up YouTube. Take it onto YouTube, um, go to my channel and publish it. Or upload, sorry, upload it. And I don't think I'm connected to any internet problem uh, at the moment, so that's going to be a problem. Nope, we've got it. And I upload it to my channel. And you guys watch it. So that's the process. Sometimes I might use uh, Adobe Photoshop and for some special effects like that. So thank you very much. This is the Frontline Trooper. My name is Andrew Cook, and this is my process of making films and the software I use to do it.